coming from Tampa Bay, Florida. We're at the Buccaneers training camp, one buck. Woke up soup early, make a nice two plus hour trip down here. Gonna check out some Buccaneer action. You always know you're going to the right place when you see this gigantic Buccaneers flag hanging out here. Here we are. Wow, the amount of stuff outside has increased year over year here. I feel like we're going to bike week or something. They have a truck where you can get glasses, Bucks Viz, your mobile. Got Kona Ice, got other concessions over here. Buccaneer cheerleaders are over here signing autographs. And over here, Buccaneers legends signing autographs. Tony Mayberry. Gear up like the pros with Buck stuff. Take pictures. Oh, at the end of practice, it's now just for children, it looks like. So you sign up here so you can get a spot. 150 people get autographs. We have Xbox with Madden on the bus. Looks like a replica of the locker room. We've got Gerald McCoy over here. That's pretty awesome. We've got some classic Bucks helmets here over the years. Bucko Bruce. Championship years. Next wave of championship years. Mike Evans. Can we just take that home now? Nice. Famous Jameis Winston. Nice. And then we've got the team store. Plenty of white footballs for autographs. Jerseys galore. Kids jerseys. I like that shirt a lot. I might have to come home with me. Classic. They have Howard jerseys but only in red. Down this end we have the replica pirate ship that's in Gasparilla Parade. We have a new training complex that's under construction here. This is the crowd before the team even takes the field. So it should be noted, you used to be able to sit in that end zone and enter the practice facility through that way. And right opposite the construction is one buck place. This is the headquarters of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I am sitting directly in the sun already. Look, if anyone ever wonders how many people come to training camp, this is what's left at this point in training camp. I mean, this is like maybe a six or a five foot. We have pirates coming over here. And then a guarding booty, they're handing it out. They're not the most intimidating pirates. We have cheerleaders, and they were running. Jameis made his way out. Captain Fear in the house. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
little Marky Mark happening now at the end of the practice. Jameis and Ted ends running extra sets. But we have players signing over here. Siliga, defensive end, signing the ball. We got Chad and Ward, he's done for the day too, signing. We'll say this, practice is done, but Winston wanted more reps. All right, we are heading out. Construction should be done for next year. I don't know how much of the training camp will be indoors where fans can't see. Just haven't kept up to date. I guess we'll find out a little bit. We've got an abandoned pirate ship. And if you guys are wondering, this is training camp at one buck. It is Raymond James Stadium right across the street. This was a fun morning out here in Tampa Bay. By the size of the crowds that keep coming out year over year, you can tell that there's a sense of excitement building back for the Buccaneers. It's quite frankly has been gone for a number of years. Now comes the fun part of driving to the next location. I've got to get out of this jersey, which is like fused to my body at this point. Um, change up a little bit of clothes, maybe a reapplication of some Old Spice and uh, find something to eat. All right, we're heading out of Buccaneer practice. I did a whole long video on the Buccaneers the other night when we drove up uh, to Jacksonville, made another road trip to go see the Bucks play the Jags in preseason. So I'm not gonna get into a lot of speculation in this video other than to say, I think the Buccaneers have a very good chance of doing well this year. They look very good, um, to me at least. I know I always have rose colored glasses, but um, even taking them off and kind of looking at it objectively this year, I think they look really strong. And we're gonna pass by the stadium here Got some cars leaving the stadium. We'll get to a couple games this year. They've got a really interesting schedule. Both New York teams are in town. I would have liked to get to the kickoff of the season, but we'll be kind of tied up with Halloween Horror Nights. So there's the stadium from the drive-by view. One other really odd thing to me still sometimes is coming to places like the Puccaneers practice and running into people that have watched the channel. So. Um, thank you folks for stopping by and saying hello. It, it's There's no stopping the mind-blowing um, aspect of um, the reach of the channel, no matter where we go and find people that pick up things. So it's very cool. Next stop on this magical mystery tour, we get lunch at Leroy Selman's. For those that don't know, Leroy Selman was a defensive end, number one draft pick for the Buccaneers back in 1976, and he passed away in 2011. Starts trying to make some good food though. Here's his jersey. And there's tons of footballs autographed by celebrities, including the Hulkster brother. Got all kinds of trophies and more autographed footballs. Food and sports have always been at the heart of my best memories. This is the first Caesar salad I've ever had that's really spicy. I drink all of my drink. This is sweet heat chicken and smashed potatoes. That chicken was good, good, good. Well, Leroy, I know you're up there somewhere. That was good chicken. Now it's time to head to our next adventure. I wish there was a way to convey just how hot it is getting back into the car after being in air conditioning, but in any event, um, that's gonna do it for us. Um, Tampa Bay sports related things here today. We're off to our next place. So on that note, thank you very much for coming along with me over to check out some Buccaneers action and Leroy Selmans. So on that note, thank you very much for your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.